In today's video, I'm going to show you why you should be using mind mapping. This is key to any successful project. You can use it at the beginning to discover what you already know about something. You can use it in the middle when you're lost in all that research, and you can use it at the end as a really good tool for writing a killer outline. Finally, I'm going to share my favorite tool for mind mapping. Let's get started. Your brain loves visual information. Did you know that brains process images and visuals 60,000 times faster than they do linear text on a page? That's the secret of mind mapping. And that's why you should be using mind mapping whenever you start a project. It's the power of the visual. It takes all these jumbled ideas that are sometimes fragmented and puts it out there so that we can get a better perspective, take another look, rearrange the flow of ideas and discover something new. So do yourself a favor and mind map your next project. It's easy to get lost in our research notes. Writing is a linear kind of an activity. And especially if you have many different documents all in a folder with all of your notes together, all that information that we've got in those various documents about the topic that we're researching can feel a little bit overwhelming sometimes. This is where mind mapping is important because it will help you get it all out in a visual place so that you can see the bigger picture of your ideas. The secret of the mind map is because it allows us to visualize what's abstract. It also helps us see the flow of ideas. And sometimes we can discover something new. We might see a gap in our information, or we might learn that we knew something that we didn't know that we knew. You can use mind maps as a way to discover how much you already know about something. Here's an example of someone reflecting on the demands of their new position. You can see that in blue, the different aspects of the new job, but on the purple side, you can see the ideas about where this new position could lead and how it might impact on their personal life. I think the color coding here in this mind map is really helpful. Here's an example of a mind map that's worthy of the fridge door art or a place on the wall in your office. There's not too much text. There are some good visuals there that are pretty easy to draw, lots of color, and it is very clear that this person has seen the relationships between their diet, their sleep, their stress, and their exercise to their health. This is a different kind of a mind map. It begins with a series of questions in columns and it's process oriented, beginning with identifying desires, obstacles or opportunities for those desires, and then finally a strategy to optimize their realizations. And sometimes mind maps just show us how much we already know about a topic or perhaps the opposite, what we need to learn about it. You can use mind maps to generate ideas. Businesses have been doing this since the 1940s. Get a team of people together and ask them to creatively generate ideas. Nothing's too crazy to put down. Just go for it. Get it all out there. You can do the same thing in your mind maps and the tool that I'm going to show you in a little bit helps you do that because you can invite people to your mind map. Once your ideas have been generated, take a step back and look at the visual. Is there something there that needs to be eliminated because it's too crazy, it's too far out there? Or are there two ideas that are so closely related that you can actually put them together into one larger one? The beauty of the mind map is that once you get going, ideas bubble up and you could be surprised at what comes to the surface. When you think that your mind map is complete, step back, take a look, and ask yourself, is there a flow to the ideas? Do you need to rearrange some of those boxes so that there's more logic in the process or the structure? So you've had a bit of a sneak peek at my favorite tool, but now let's jump into it. It's called LucidChart. LucidChart's an online tool for making your thinking visual. It integrates with Google Apps and you can find it in the Chrome Web Store. Make sure to look at the different types of maps LucidChart offers. Creating your first map is very easy. The interface is drag and drop, and you can easily change the text, the shapes, the colors, the lines. 
Use a wide variety of container shapes to represent your ideas. You can insert images from the web to really optimize the visual thinking aspect of your map. But what I appreciate the most is its collaborative feature. Today's creators have come to expect our tools to allow us to collaborate with others. Like Google Apps, you can invite someone to your map with varying levels of collaboration from view only to a co-editor with you. Well, I hope that was helpful and that I gave you the motivation to get out there and get your mind maps done. If you want some help about writing outlines and the alphanumeric format and how to get that done in Google Docs, where sometimes that formatting gets wonky, check back on this channel because I've got some good stuff for you there too. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video had value for you.